Who's gonna shoot your pretty little foot? Making music in Rochester, Vermont. Uh, Rochester is lovely, great food, great people. It's gorgeous around here. Jake Wildwood sells and repairs vintage string instruments along Route 100. Known as the Country Guitar Doctor, his team works on anything with strings, from ornate guitars to this old phono fiddle. Despite having lived in places with more population, I met way more musicians in the first like few months we lived here than I had ever met in the cities. The arts are alive and well in Rochester. Just up the road, artist Annie McKay runs the newly built Stable Inn and the Big Town Art Gallery, leaving a unique mark on this small town. Through the younger generations, you can actually change and mold um, and influence little communities like this. Her husband, Dune Hendricks, is well known around Rochester. For 36 years, he's run Green Mountain Bicycles next door. We've taught many little kids their first successful riding of a bike just on the grass in the backyard. That's really kind of fun. An avid mountain biker himself, Dune is thankful for Rochester's recent work expanding their local trail network and making the town an outdoor rec destination. It's kind of got to pinch yourself with that because we used to be a really blank spot on the map with, you know, the big things at Killington and Stowe and, and around. And no trip to Rochester would be complete without stopping by Sandy's Books and Bakery. Here you can find good reads and treats, two things Sandy Lincoln loves sharing with her customers. It's absolutely beautiful. I look around like, oh man, I live in a paradise and then I come down to work and it's just a sweet combination. Jake shared a similar sentiment with us back at his musical paradise in the heart of the Green Mountains. He says there's no place he'd rather set up shop. Whenever I come up, come back from an event or something and I come back into this area, it's just like, ah, sigh of relief, this is like home. 